The car dealer wants their car back or wants you to re-sign papers? It could be a spot delivery scam by the finance office. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. It's your lucky day because you've arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. For those of you who drove that new or at least new to you car home from the dealership only to get a call later, well, it could have been a few days or a week or two later to say a mistake happened or we need you to sign new paperwork or the financing fell through. You could possibly be the victim of a car dealer yo-yo financing scam. Of all the shady things car dealers are known to pull, this is by far the most common and unfortunately a widely used scam in dealerships today. So what's a spot delivery, you ask? Well, here's what happens. The dealer finance officer first leads you to believe that everything is good to go with the car you just bought. You think you're good to go. Yep. Then you get a call a short time later to say, you have to bring the car back. But for this kind of nonsense to happen, the dealer had to know something the moment you drove away in the car. They did not officially have you approved for a car loan. They had you sign all the paperwork so you thought everything was good to go and you took delivery of the car. You left thinking the loan would have been approved and the car deal is done, but it's not. Here's how they set it up. The finance manager will look at the customer's credit history, their finances, the type of car, and even the structure of the car deal. He then makes an assumption that a given lender will approve the customer at a given interest rate and loan term, mm. so he has you, the buyer, sign all the paperwork. Well, what's his plan? Well, he plans to work on it later. Maybe it's Saturday or it's late in the evening, and the dealer wants to get as many people out the door as possible. The finance man believes he can get a loan approved for you at a later time, so he sends you down the road in this new vehicle. And if you're the car buyer in this situation, you go home oblivious to the fact that you don't actually have a loan approval and the dealer doesn't tell you anything otherwise. You're clueless that a potential problem is looming. There's a reason the car dealer does this. They want you taken out of the market. So you can't buy anything else. Exactly. So you think you have a car deal. You think you're done shopping. That's right. Spot delivering a customer keeps the dealer in the driver's seat and gives them the first shot at selling you a car. If you think this is the worst thing they could do to a customer to stop them from shopping elsewhere, well, think again. It could actually get a lot worse than this. As Kevin mentioned, weekends and late evenings are the most common time for a spot delivery to happen. There's a number of reasons for this, but most likely is that the bankers were offline or shut down at the moment of the sale, so the dealer rolls the dice. The finance officer has nobody to talk to on the banker's end, and if there happens to be any possible challenges with either the car buyer's credit or the car they're trying to buy, it could blow up in their faces. The buyer signs all the paperwork, like everything is done, and heads home thinking this one's history, but it's not. It's not. To be clear and fair, not all spot deliveries are scams, and not all spot deliveries are done for the purpose of being deceptive. It might surprise you to know that spot delivering a car without a loan in place is actually an everyday process at car dealerships across the nation. As we've mentioned, they are doing this to make sure that you don't decide to shop at another dealership that day because these guys couldn't help you at that exact moment. If they don't spot you in a car, the next dealership will. They aren't about to let that happen. And while not every spot delivery is a scam, this technique is a source of car buyer horror stories all around the country. We get emails on this all the time. Yep. Going home only to have the dealer tell you you have to bring the car back is obviously very upsetting. Think about it. You've probably told your whole neighborhood about your new car and your family <laughs> stopping over to t check it out. Now the dealer wants it back? Yes. I don't blame you for being a bit ticked off. You've been bragging about this car for crying out loud. Sometimes it's just an unfortunate mistake. The finance man made a bad call on a customer with less than perfect credit and they couldn't get the deal done. Typically, an F&I manager will do everything they can to get a deal approved before agreeing to a spot delivery. After all, they don't get paid if the deal isn't done and the finance office is the one who's going to have to make that call when they need to have you come back. In legitimate cases like Elizabeth just mentioned, it's not always known why the lender won't approve the loan. It was just a bad call on a wrong customer or the wrong car deal and the bank turns it down. However, a dealer crosses the line from an honest mistake to a clear scam when the dealer tells you that you are approved for a car loan right. at a certain interest rate and term when you signed out. There wasn't any confusion on your part. The dealer made a direct statement to say that you're approved. However, that's not true. And in many cases, they absolutely know there is no way you'll qualify for the loan as written. It's deliberate deception. The dealer is counting on you to fall in love with this vehicle over the course of the next few days and wants you to believe it's yours. But make no mistake, they knew there was going to be a follow-up call the moment they let you take that vehicle. You'll hear stuff like, there's a problem with your paperwork and we need you to come back and re-sign. Or, I'm sorry, your financing fell through. It could be, we need more money down or your interest rate is going up. Or they say, we forgot a couple of forms for you to sign or you need a co-signer if you want to keep this car. 
You might also hear, we just can't get you approved for the full amount of the loan. Whatever they say, this is a horrible phone call for any car buyer to receive. And unfortunately, it is so commonplace that somebody right now is on the line with a dealership somewhere in the country while you're watching this video and they're getting this call from a dealer who's feeding them one or more of these lines. It's quite traumatizing. The car buyer arrives back at the dealership frustrated and rattled. Immediately, they begin working on your emotional attachment to the vehicle because the truth is they don't want the car back. They wanted you back so they could work you over. <laughs> That's right. They have you where they want you, willing to do anything to keep the car you've been driving. This is where they hit you with the highest interest rate, a longer term loan. Maybe they even get you to switch cars or put more cash into the deal. The sad part is this is done to people way too often. This gets even worse when you add a traded vehicle into the mix. Then you have something called a snafu or foobar for those of you military guys. In this case, the trade could already be gone and the slimiest dealers put right in the paperwork that all they have to do is give you the actual cash value of your trade. Most reputable dealers are pretty good about putting a trade hold designation on a vehicle if the deal is not properly done. So we hope you get lucky and the trade nightmare that Kevin described doesn't happen to you. If this nightmare car deal does happen to you, Unfortunately, we don't have really good news for you. Car dealers have been doing spot delivery for ages and they've learned how to cover themselves legally. They often include a right of rescission agreement with the paperwork. It's an actual form that you signed that says if for any reason the dealer cannot get a car loan approved that you must return the car and they stack the deck against you. Another form that they may use is a BCA, borrowed car agreement. They'll use a BCA to supersede the contract if your loan isn't approved. We've said this many times and we can't emphasize it any stronger. You must read everything, no matter how boring it might seem, and never sign something you don't understand. Of course, you can try to fight the car dealer if you don't want to return the car, but most people who go this route get dragged into a long drawn out ordeal and possibly a very expensive fight. Very expensive. You can always try filing a complaint with the Attorney General's office, but unfortunately, most people don't win. There are a couple of other things to try too. If you're convinced that you got a decent deal on the car, in other words, it was a good buy, well, try talking to your own bank or credit union. This is a step that you should have done first, but it's never too late. They might be able to help you out. If it works out with your own banker, you can take the bank check to the dealership and you're done with them. You just cut them out of the financing discussion entirely. If the dealer is simply trying to get you to re-sign paperwork through their in-house financing sources and they're either requiring that you put more cash down or your payment is going up, refuse to sign. It's against the law in most states for a dealer to try to force you to sign at a higher rate or higher payment. Perhaps the silver lining in all this is that it presents you with a chance to get out of the car deal entirely, a deal you probably shouldn't have signed in the first place, and then you can get refocused, do better homework, and start over. Don't forget, if you don't want to re-sign the paperwork on the car, just don't do it. Unwind the deal and get out of it. The big question is, how can you avoid the spot delivery scam in the first place? Well, remember how often we tell you that you should talk to your own bank or credit union first if you're financing your car? Well, this is just one of the reasons for that. When you need a car loan, the best way to avoid the spot delivery scam is to only use a car dealership's financing options as a dead last resort. Always go with a known banker first. Know what you qualify before contacting a dealership by having your financing already in place. There's zero chance of you being a spot delivery scam victim when your own bank is involved. And in the absence of having your own bank involved, look the finance manager straight in the eye and ask a very pointed question. Am I approved through this lender to buy this car right now? Or are you trying to push final approval of this loan off for another day and just doing a spot delivery for me? He has no choice but to answer the question with a straight answer. Anything less is fraud. The manager says, yes, you're approved to buy this car now. Ask them what bank and lender that you're approved through. It should be an immediate answer. Make them write it down for you on company letterhead and sign it. Any finance manager that has a hard time giving you the name of the bank or refuses to is simply lying to you. Time to get up and leave. There are cases where accepting a spot delivery works out okay for the car buyer, but you must know exactly what's going on up front. But that said, based on everything we've already shared with you, would you ever drive a car off a lot without knowing exactly what you're looking at with the financing that there's no opportunity for gray area left behind? Do you think any member of the homework guide team would accept a spot delivery even if we knew for sure that everything was okay? I'd never do that. The, <laughs> the, the answer is no. No way, no how, no dice, nada. Nobody will ever convince me that I needed a car so badly that risking a spot delivery on unknown financial terms made sense. If you really needed a set of wheels for the weekend that badly, well, rent a car for two, three days and then come back early the next week. Seriously, just rent the car. 
You can thank me later for all the potential headaches that we just saved you. I just want to reinforce, never take a spot delivery without a guaranteed approval and finance already in place. And if you have to go back for any reason, you're making a mistake. If you appreciated the video today and we gave you something more to think about, well, consider giving us that great big thumbs up. And smash that like button. Share this video with your, your friends and family to serve to get just as lucky as you did today finding this video. I also want to encourage you to join us on any of our social media platforms that you find in the description box below. Also, as you see, Kevin's wearing his. Is that the best you can do sweatshirt? Right here. We're looking for a few courageous car buyers out there who want to get these sweatshirts or shirts for themselves and go car shopping with it on. If you do that and send us the video of you and your homework guy shirt on the car lot, we'll publish your video story and send you $100 and you get a free shirt out of it and extra cash to spend. And all of us get to have a little fun, right, Kevin? That's right. If you love what we do and want to leave a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be in the description box down below or on our website. But no big deal. If you can't do a tip, just help us get the word out. Our subscribers are the luckiest car buyers on the planet, and you want that to be you, right? Exactly. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with The Amazing Elizabeth. We're, We're out. out.